Because you know what I mean? You make this like super personal ass, yeah. like stripped back song where there's no bells and whistles. Yeah. And that the only thing that's carrying the song is you. Yeah. And it's that's like. That's the best. I know, it's just so scary. It's the, if you think about it though, but that, if, you, if you think about it, yeah. your favorite records do that. Mm -hmm. Like the ones you like that other people make. Right. That's the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Vulnerability is the key to relatability. By digging deep within yourself, you can reach deep within others. And you accomplish this by focusing on the truth. Understand what's happening inside of you and put it into your art. However, being vulnerable just to attract fans won't work. People will see right through it. Or worse, they won't see anything at all. Because the goal of vulnerability is simply to express yourself. Attracting fans is just a byproduct of them connecting with your truth. But as you know, being vulnerable is a huge risk. That's why few ever reach the levels of success like Kendrick Lamar, Tyler the Creator, Kanye West, and Mac Miller. Because it takes a lot of courage. But you know what they say, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Insecurity is all completely normal, especially with your own work, because it's an extension of yourself. So when you're giving away some of your art, you're giving away a piece of yourself, and it's like... It's like being, it's like standing in front of a bunch of people naked. You're kind of like, uh, I don't know, I don't, you know what I mean? So it's like, like it. <laughs> so it's like, you know what I mean? You gotta like, you gotta like just just start being cool with letting people get to know you on a deeper level, and then then it all happens. Like Max said, being vulnerable is like being naked, which is literally the definition. It says, the quality of state of being exposed, and then it goes on to say to the possibility of being attacked or harmed, either physically or emotionally. And that's why it's so hard to be vulnerable, because you're really showing people the real you, and that opens you up to being hurt. And who loves pain? Not many of us. That's why so many people try to numb their pain with cheap dopamine hits like drugs, random hookups, and even scrolling on your phone. People can't even bear the pain of being bored, that they have to be on their phones 24-7. For me, being vulnerable is extremely hard because vulnerability is often seen as being weak. And as a Mexican man, that's a big no-no. We're not supposed to express ourselves. We're not supposed to cry. We're supposed to stay strong, man up, and keep going. But as you should know, keeping everything bottled up is not healthy. You'll be a ticking time bomb. One day you're gonna explode, or that annoying ticking sound is gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. But as I've gone through my creative journey, I've learned that being vulnerable is one of the strongest things you can do. You need to have the courage to fully express yourself and share it with the world. That's why the best artists often show up naked, even when the world demands they put their clothes on. It was time for me to start exploring that side of my creative expression more. Yeah, yeah. Um, And putting it out more in the forefront. You know, yeah, because yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's like, keep in mind, like, I'm from Cypher World. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, I yes. come from Cypher World. So, like, it's a lot of growth that has to happen to, as a human being, to um, be that vulnerable and let people do what they will with that vulnerability. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you have to really be good with where you're at. One of the biggest reasons vulnerability is so important in art is because it prioritizes truth. Being vulnerable helps an artist create art that exposes their true identities and experiences. So if you don't prioritize the truth, you'll be living a lie, which hurts you and can hurt others as well. So you'd be surprised when you get in the habit of explaining, you know, telling people how you really feel, even if you're concerned that it's gonna hurt their feelings, that ultimately it leads to a better relationship all the way around. Stronger. Yeah, and, yeah. Be and better because yeah. it's, if you have these feelings inside and you're not sharing them with the other person, they're going along thinking you're a different person than who you are. So it's, it's almost like a not real relationship. Building a relationship on lies is bound to fail, whether it's romantic, building a friendship, or building a fan base. Because the moment they find out you weren't real with them, they're gonna leave and it's gonna be hard to regain their trust. That's why it's in your best interest to be honest from the things you say to the things you make from the very beginning. Look, dude, I hate liars. <laughs> I truly do. I think honesty is awesome. Uh, with yourself, with people, I'm not afraid to tell people no. Like, and it's okay, it doesn't mean I hate you. It's not implying, I mean, it's just honesty. And I think, I think, when you're making something, it doesn't have to be so obvious, but just being honest with uh, with
with how you're approaching is when the best comes. Making authentic art will always be the best approach because your truth will never be wrong. You've gone through what you've gone through. You felt what you felt. You know who you are. People can't call you out for being honest. In addition, being vulnerable in your art helps you and others heal. By expressing yourself, telling people what you've gone through and how you've overcome those obstacles helps build your own confidence and inspires others to do the same. But me doing that allows you to, to say, man, f it, let can do our version of this. And then when you do that, your friends, that's probably not even making art, they might go have a talk with their parents that they wasn't gonna have because y'all gave them the courage for that. And then from that, now they parents is like, damn, that lady at work kind of said some to the dot, then they gonna have a conversation like, so keeping like that going and you being honest does more for people around you than you may think. Having the courage to stand up for what you believe in is how change happens. And it always begins with an artist being vulnerable and courageous enough to express themselves. This world we live in wouldn't exist if artists didn't stand up, call out problems they see and work towards fixing them. Because being an artist is one of the most important jobs in the world. But even though you know the benefits of being vulnerable, it's still difficult to do. Just like any skill, it's gonna require some practice. So here are some tips that can help you be more vulnerable as an artist and as a human being. Most people assume vulnerability is simply talking about your feelings. However, it's more than just that. To be vulnerable is to expand outside of your comfort zone. As I said earlier, to be vulnerable is to take a risk. And that's exactly what you do when you try something new. Whether you're performing on stage for the first time or speaking up at a work meeting for the first time, you open yourself up to being criticized by others. And most of the time we play it safe. We stick to the same routine. We stay at a job that we hate for years. We walk through life like zombies, rarely challenging ourselves. As humans, we don't like change, but that's normal. It's a way our subconscious protects us from risk and danger. However, the best rewards in life are on the other side of those risks. So a great way to build your vulnerability muscle is by constantly trying new things. Challenge yourself every single day even if it doesn't relate to making art. Just by putting yourself out there, you'll learn what it feels like to be vulnerable. Then you can get used to this feeling and it won't affect you as much when you create. Most people go through their lives without fully understanding who they really are. And when you don't understand who you are, then how can you live a life that you truly love? You'll get into the wrong relationships. You'll work jobs you hate. You'll be blind to opportunities that were meant for you. It's only when you understand yourself that you can create a life that you love because you'll be comfortable with who you are and comfortable sharing that with others. Then your life will be based on the truth and there's no better way to live than being truly you. So the way you get to know yourself better is by constantly asking yourself questions. How do I feel? Do I love doing this? Why do I hate when someone does this? What would happen if I try this? By asking yourself questions, you're able to bring out the real you. And coincidentally, making art is one of the best ways to understand yourself. Because making art is a process of asking yourself questions. The more art you make, the better you understand yourself. And the better you understand yourself, the more you make better art. That's the creative process. And yes, some questions are going to be uncomfortable to answer. But you should know by now, that's a risk you should be willing to take. And even though you should take that risk, it's still hard. So here's an exercise to help you with your vulnerability. Open up your recording software, grab a piece of paper, a canvas, whatever your medium is, and then just let it all out. Release everything that's taking up room in your head and heart because that's where your treasure lies. So now that you have this treasure laid out in front of you, delete the files, rip up that canvas, light that paper on fire, just destroy it. But wait, before you do that, maybe grab some lyrics here, a piece of the design, a color combination, a chord, and then use it for another piece of art. This way you're not completely vulnerable in one piece of art, only a little. And as time goes on, take more and more after each exercise until you get to the point where you're comfortable being vulnerable and raw. But understand, it's always going to be scary. It's always going to be hard, but you can build up your vulnerability muscles with practice. Whenever you speak up and state your opinion, you're being vulnerable. Whenever you experiment with an approach that might not work, you're vulnerable. When you build on an idea that comes from personal experiences, that's vulnerability. Of course, it's going to be difficult because you're putting yourself into your art. And if it fails, it feels like you're a failure. But the truth is, if you don't go there, if you don't take that risk, you're losing far more than you're gaining from protecting yourself. 
In the end, if someone doesn't like your art, who cares? You're not here to prove yourself. You're here to be yourself. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to make art or die.